Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Friday, June the 3rd of 2022 and I'm coming at you guys with another day in the life vlog for Vloon, which if you're not sure what that is, Vloon is day in the life vlogging during the month of June. So every single weekday on my channel, Monday through Friday in the month of June, you guys will see a day in the life vlog go up at 6 p.m. Eastern, not on the weekends. So keep that in mind, but weekdays, you guys will see a vlog. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, it's Friday and I actually have quite the to-do list today. Um, I want to first up go to Dollar General and Family Dollar and film a scenarios video for you guys. I don't have a video to do on Saturday and I thought, well, huh, I could do a Dollar General Family Dollar video and I actually want to get some scenarios together for myself because I have not been shopping at the dollar stores the last several weeks and my paper product supply is okay, but it's definitely dwindling. So I want to look into that and get some deals put together. And then that way I can film a video for you guys too, so I can go there and come up with a deal for myself and share it with you guys. So it's kind of a win-win situation. I have four Etsy orders to ship out today, which is sweet. I did that new release. Uh, thank you to everybody who purchased. I need to ship out four orders. Let me make sure, am I still, is it still just four? Yes, four orders. I think I had a digital order as well, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate everybody who purchased on the grand opening of my new items. Super sweet. So I got four orders to ship out today, which is going to be great. Um, but first, guys, I got an announcement to share with you guys. It's really sad. Like, this isn't clickbait. This is actually super sad news. I really am not pleased with this. Um, but we got to tell you because it's going to affect you guys too. So... I've got a pre-recorded clip from me and Katie a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to go ahead and insert that here. All right, guys, we have a little announcement. Actually, not a little announcement. It's a pretty big announcement. This is being pre-recorded on May 12th, which is Katie's due date for baby Zola, and Zola still ain't popped out yet. <laughs> so, But she'll be born when this goes up. So, yeah. um, You guys are seeing this, what, June 6th? Is that the day you said it's yeah. going to be released? June yeah. 6th. This is a really sad announcement. It really is. Um, but we feel like you guys need to know because you all love Katie more than you love me. So, <laughs> um, do you want to tell them? Yes, I'll tell them. So, uh, Derek hates his job. That's her husband, by the way. Um, fairly, it's a rough job. So he was looking around and he found a new job, a really, really good job. In South Carolina. <laughs> so, we're packing up baby Zola and moving to South Carolina. Yeah. We're definitely not, we're not crazy about it, but, no, um, but you know, we understand this is um, what they feel they should do right now. And Katie also has a good potential job down that way as well. Yeah. We see that they're going to be really flexible with the baby yeah. and stuff like that, a which is important. Of a job. Um, we're, we're sad we won't be around Zola too much, but we've made them promise to FaceTime regularly. Oh, yeah. And um, hopefully, I mean, I it's not like pretty far, but it's not like we're both about eight hours away, yeah. which is not good. It's far. It's a work day. Um, but it's not like the worst distance ever. And flying, which is expensive, but flying is a less, you know, yeah. exhausting option. It's like an so. hour and a half flight. It's just that the airport where we'll be living is so kind of a smaller one so it's more expensive than mm -hmm. flying to some other places but still it'd probably be way worth it yeah but still eight hours it's, it's like a work day now uh, we're sad that obviously um we won't be in their everyday lives but um we wish them the best do you think that you should visit they do have a Publix which is the only thing I'm jealous of so you come down I and think visit. Zanesville's got it all just not a Publix come down and visit and do a Publix run Maybe. And then maybe I can sometimes be a guest star couponer at Publix if you tell me what to do because I don't know what to do. Publix is a cool store. I, I'd be very, maybe very excited. Maybe I can start my stockpile. You used to have one. I did. I can start one again. Anyway, we've already been talking about some ways virtually we could vlog or something. Um, you know, it won't be the same, but we kind of knew Zola would change, shake mm -hmm. things up anyway. So, but we will still find ways to make it work. Oh, yeah. Um, definitely will miss our excursions and just day-to-day -day stuff. It's going to be sad, but um, change is a part of life. I don't like it, but it's a part of life. So. We'll make it. 
we'll make it work. So anyways, Katie's moving to South Carolina, so maybe some of you guys will see her out and about in South Carolina. Yeah. Because I know some of you guys, I'm sure some of you guys live in South Carolina. So yeah, but um, that's the announcement. So yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why our ribs, or our ribs, our lips are red, it's because we had icy. So we didn't put lipstick on or anything. We had cherry icy. We had cherry icy, so that's why they're so red. But anyways, that's the announcement. Back to whatever today's vlog even is. So yeah, guys, that's the news. I'm really disappointed. It's a big bummer. It's a huge bummer. Um, I wish they didn't have to move to South Carolina. I wish there was another way. Um, for them to be able to get their job situation worked out. But sadly, that's just the best thing they can find. He is a, in a very specific medical field, a very specific field. And unfortunately, the jobs are few and far between for that field. And what he found is exactly what he's always wanted to do. So I am happy for them. And like I said, I wish I didn't have to go to South Carolina to do it. You know, I wanted to be around the baby and I was excited for that phase of life. But um, sadly, sometimes life goes in different directions and that's kind of what's happened here. So that's kind of what it is. So you guys are stuck with me. You're going to be seeing solo vlogs with me. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of other fun vlogs like I did with Katie, but that's okay. I'll, I'll make them fun somehow. So anyways, guys, um, I'll be sure to show you guys Katie hopefully one more time before she leaves. It's going to be in a couple of weeks. So that's kind of what's up. But anyways, um, yeah, so I wanted to share that news with you guys. I know today was the day I was told it was fine to release that. Um, so it is released. Anyways, guys, now I'm going to get to working on Etsy stuff. I have, like I said, four orders, and I'm just going to go through and print and cut and do all the things to get those orders shipped and ready to go today. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into that. I'm just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done To make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking and ready to go just still packaging them in the mailers and doing the shipping labels just want to say i talked the other day about how i bought this jot brand shipping tape from dollar tree literally throwing it in the trash that stuff is junk it is horrible it is horrible don't ever buy that i will never buy that again i was hopeful but i should have known better i'm brand loyal to scotch that's the best shipping tape out there in my opinion so i should have just done that Okay, guys, it is 5.02 p.m. and I just got done at the post office. Unfortunately, the orders aren't going to go out today on Friday because I literally made it here at like 4.59 and they were shutting everything down. So I had to just scan it into the self-service thing, which is fine. Um, but that means it won't go out until tomorrow, probably. So it's fine. But I would have made it here, but 
Zanesville is so annoying right now, and they've decided to do, whoever's over it, decided to do all these interstate, run a huge interstate construction project for the next five years, and they have shut down, like, almost all of the on and off ramps, and there's only, like, one ramp that takes you directly into town. So, because of that, everybody's coming here, and the post office is by that ramp, so traffic was crazy. I was stuck on a bridge for, like, five I think it was like eight minutes I got on at like 450 didn't get off of it till 458 and the post office is like right located off of that bridge so it took forever it was crazy but whatever what's she gonna do about it but anyways I dropped the orders off and I got a letter from Kelly so I'm gonna check that out thank you so much Kelly she loves to send extra coupons it's really sweet of her um, she just said, hi, Nick, enjoy these extra coupons, Kelly, and her screen name is The Fleming Gal. So thank you so much, Kelly, and she actually sent me some really, oh my gosh, she sent me some really, really good ones. So she sent me 40 cents off of Kroger Vanilla Wafers, that's really nice, 50 cents off of two Kroger brand bread loaves, 50 cents off of any Kroger brand cookies, crackers, or bag snacks in a multi-pack, 40 cents off of Kroger dinner rolls, she sent me... Oh, Kelly, she sent me these 250 off of Effordant coupons. That's really good because honestly, I don't have much of that in my stockpile. And so that was really nice. And I have several people in the family who need that. So that'll get put to good use. She sent me a buy one, get one free stem bug spray coupon. And there's an Ibotta for that. So that's really good. She sent me a Cottonelle coupon, Neutrogena. Man, Kelly, you hooked us up this time. This is great. Zest. Um, she sent some Sweet Baby Rays. Man, Kelly, thank you so much. You totally didn't have to do that, but I very much appreciate it. You are so kind. So anyways, I'm going to now go, and I will not vlog and drive because I've had a few of you get really upset with me over that, even though, I don't know, I've done it for years, and no one really seemed to care until recently. Um, I can assure you I've always been safe. I'm not touching the camera. The camera is... Um, propped up. I'm not touching it. I'm looking at the road, but I don't want to make people upset over that. So we're not going to do it much, but um, I am now heading to Family Dollar. I was originally going to do Dollar General and Family Dollar, but I was looking through the Dollar General digitals. I just didn't see that much going on there this week. And so Family Dollar is more convenient anyways for me. So I just decided I'm just going to do a Family Dollar video for tomorrow. I'm excited for that. The 5 off 25 is going and there's some good digital coupons for paper products, which is great. Um, and so I'm going to head over there and do that. So that's where we are going now. If this doesn't tell you about inflation, I don't know what else will. Banquet meals. Does anybody remember these were always a dollar? Now they're two twenty-five. My goodness, that is crazy. <laughs> I tell you guys, this inflation stuff, every single time I go to the store, stuff costs way more than it used to. It's just like, it's wild. It's hard to believe. It's really hard to believe. Okay, so done at Family Dollar, and I grabbed a few deals actually early, even though it's not 5 off 25, but I did grab some really good deals today. Um, I was testing a couple things out and making sure it would work for my video, and it did. And I am in such a good mood right now because that cashier... She is seriously the nicest cashier ever. I see her in here all the time. Whenever I come, it's typically her. Um, she is the nicest person ever. And it always makes me so happy when these cashiers want to see us save money. Like, it's really nice when they want to see you succeed. And this lady does. Like, seriously. So I go out there and I check out and I bring up all my stuff. And she is so sweet. And I put my number in and she's always so excited and reads me the coupon. She's like, oh, your $2 bit coupon came off and your two cure ad coupons came off and your home line coupon came off and she always is like oh you saved this and your totals this and how wonderful it is and then she was like you need to come back tomorrow for the five off 25 and i was like oh i'm planning on it and then this just made my day that she did this like this really made my day because yesterday at walmart i had a horrifying experience um i had a gift card from fetch and at walmart those are stupid because it always calls for a csm and the store was so rude and made me literally wait for 20 minutes and when the csm came back they didn't even want to deal with me it just was a horrible experience so to have a cashier like this today just the lord knew i needed it she was so sweet she was like oh if you go back there by the graduation stuff there's some gain on clearance and there's a two dollar coupon and i was like oh where is it and she literally left the register and walked me back there and showed me exactly where it was and told me the smart coupon and told me how there's a png promo and i was just like 
that is the so like that is so sweet you don't find cashiers like that that much anymore you really don't she was just so excited she's so nice to everybody who comes in here and it just i love shopping here because of that. i really like family dollar anyway because sometimes you don't really want to walk through a huge store like walmart and the smart coupons here are amazing so let me show you what i got um today these deals probably won't be available anymore, but I'm just going to show you anyway. So I got two of the Homeland bath tissues. These are $2.35. I had a two off a two digital coupon. So I made these $1.35 for a four double roll pack. I think that's actually a really decent price. So I picked that up. Um, I had some really good digital coupons. I had a digital coupon for the Bic razors. These are $2.25. I had a $2 smart coupon making it $0.25. Cents. Like, come on. Curat bandages, these were $1.25, and I actually had a 50 cent family dollar store coupon and a 50 cent digital manufacturer, making it 25 cents. And then they did have these hostess cupcakes for 50% off, so it was like $1.75. And I know that my great uncle loves cupcakes like this, and let's be real, I do too. So for half off, I wasn't going to pass that up. It was like $1.75. And then I got these. I didn't, at this point, I didn't, um, or when I picked these up, I didn't realize I was getting the cupcakes, or I probably wouldn't have got both, but what are you going to do? Um, the, oh no, these have high fructose corn syrup. I didn't expect that. Okay. Well, I'll know for next time, but these taste just like thin mints and they're two bucks. And so I picked those up. I spent $7 even on everything, which is actually decent. That's pretty good. In my opinion, I was really happy with that. And just the fact they're so nice in here. It makes me always want to come back to family dollar. I love it. And so I will be back tomorrow for five off 25 and I hope she's there because she is so sweet. And I love the deals. You gotta just love when you got a cashier who is excited that you're in their store and wants to see you save money. It's just amazing. It's really amazing. So that made my day. This cashier made my day today. And so if this lady ever watches my video, you are awesome. And I really appreciate how you treated me today because like I said, I had that awful experience at Walmart yesterday and they just were so rude and acted like I was annoying them. And then to go to the from that to today, this cashier is so excited I'm here and is taking me to look at clearance and telling me about coupons that I can save even more money. It just really made my day. So that was so sweet. But anyways, guys, I'm heading out back home and gonna work on dinner. And so I'll take you guys along for that. All right, so dinner is served here. We made pizzas on tortillas, which is actually really good. You just take a tortilla, you put marinara sauce and I put pepperoni and green pepper on it. And it's really good. It's really thin, obviously, because it's a tortilla, but it's really good. We use the carb, low-carb tortillas, so this is really good. And just have a little side salad, so this is going to be yum. All right, guys, it is, like, almost 9 o'clock. My mom and I ran up to Walmart because Katie gave us her formula checks from Similac. They send checks or whatever for you to use, which is really nice. Um, and... The formula shortage is no joke. It's really hard to find formula. And so she was like, well, I know you're out a lot. So if you ever see it, um, you know, pick it up. And I brought my mom because I don't, I thought they might think it was a little weird for me to be using a formula check with a lady's name on it. I don't know if they'd really care about it, just the paranoia in me. And so formula is limited and it's hard to find, but thankfully they did have three of the specific kind that Zola needs. So we're gonna go ahead and pick those up for her. And I know I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. So we went to the service desk and asked and they explained it, <laughs> but I'm still kind of nervous. Like, is this going to work? <laughs> but um, anyways, so we're going to check here and I think we might run to Kroger and see if they have any there we can get because they need this specific kind and it's hard to find that specific kind in the stores in a big abundance. So anyways, then they gave her like six checks or something like that, which is awesome. So or using two of them here. So I'm gonna go up there and see how this goes. That actually was pretty easy. Just 10.54 for three things of formula that would have been 50.46. So that was definitely a sweet deal. Just was walking out of Walmart and I noticed the sign that this salon location will be temporarily closed until further notice due to staffing. So like there's no plan to reopen because I guess there's no one to work. Man, the times we live in are weird right now. This is just crazy. Look at the sky. That is literally amazing. Like, it's beautiful. It doesn't usually look like that. It's like really nice. Okay, so I wish you just would have came to Kroger to start with because they're actually, believe it or not, they're cheaper here by a little bit. They're $15.99 and Walmart was $16.87 and they have a ton of them here and there's no limit. So we literally could have just got them all here. I assume there was a limit because literally everybody has a limit, but they have a ton of these in stock. So I guess that's why the limit's lifted, but Thankfully, we can finish up using the checks here, and there's still plenty for everybody else. 
And by the way, some of you guys, well not some of you guys, one of you guys left a comment kind of criticizing Katie for using formula and how she should be breastfeeding. I do want to say it's a very personal thing. That's not something that I think anybody should judge anybody for. And she's doing the best she can. So if she needs to use formula, I don't think anybody should shame her for that. And certainly I'm not going to shame anybody for using formula. I don't really think it's anybody's business if some mother breastfeeds or uses formula. Um, so if you think that formula is stupid, <laughs> just keep that to yourself. Man, we did so much better at Kroger. It was $6.96 for four things of formula. And it was actually a ton cheaper here. It was $15.99. And at Walmart, it's $16.87. So go figure. If you got a kid on formula, you might want to come to Kroger instead. Because it's cheaper. But good deal. So all in all, we were able to get her seven formulas. So she'll be really stocked up. And we were able to use up the checks they sent her, which is awesome. So yeah, guys, that's all that I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And thank you so, so much for watching.